Okay, in this one, it says uh, some college students have decided to test a vitamin to see, to see whether it prevents colds. And they recruit 500 students with a sign-up sheet uh, containing a numbered list. The first half on those sheets, uh, on the sheet numbers 1 through 250, are asked to take 500 milligrams of vitamin C every day. And the second half are told not to use vitamin C. And at the end of the school year, participants are asked how many colds they had. How do you improve the study? Okay. So how to improve the study. So right now the study says uh, numbers 1 through 250 take vitamin C. And then 251 through 500, no vitamin C. Okay, and then, um, and that's, that's basically it. So this is good. It's a controlled experiment because we are telling students uh, what to do. Uh, but well, to make it better, uh, maybe using a placebo. Use a placebo. So rather than say, you guys take vitamin C and you guys don't take vitamin C, uh, maybe uh, the group who's not taking vitamin C uh, not taking vitamin C takes a placebo. So there's some kind of pill, maybe uh, that tastes like tastes acidic like vitamin C does, but uh, takes a placebo. So they don't know uh, whether they are taking vitamin C or not. Just in case, um, there could be a placebo effect. Uh, which is which is very common, so that could uh, improve it. Use a placebo. Uh, random assignment is also going to help. Okay, random assignment is always uh, something good. So rather than just saying um, numbers one through two hundred fifty, they could flip a coin, and if the person gets heads, they they're assigned to vitamin C, and if they flip tails, then they're assigned to placebo. Of course, the um, the uh, the person taking the vitamin C or placebo, the, the subject would not know. Okay, random assignment, assign subjects to the treatment uh, uh, at random. Okay, and that, so just in case, um, you know, a whole bunch of friends sign up together at the, the top of the list, okay? Uh, maybe, uh, or maybe these are siblings or something, maybe a, a bunch of people who are somehow connected to each other sign up together. Um, what often happens is that if, uh, if friends uh, hang out and if one person gets sick, then, then everybody in that group gets sick. And, uh, and the random assignment will help kind of split it up. So it's not like the whole group of friends that happen to not be taking vitamin C all get sick together because um, that could affect uh, your results. So random assignment uh, will help out. And um, so placebo makes it blind. And then if there's anyone, um, if uh, it, it could be possible to make the uh, experiment double blind so that um, the person who uh, records the data on the number of sicknesses should not know whether the person is taking vitamin C or not, okay? Should not know which treatment uh, is being used. So that's uh, how we can improve the vitamin C study.